Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video we have a 2008 Infiniti GT37 uh, Coupe. So this car has a issue with the uh, EVAP leak, or oh, because the customer being drive this car with no gas cap, so he missed up the the canister from underneath. So the code you have it was uh, P0447. So today's video I'll show you how to change that and from where you can get the parts. Stay with me, guys. Okay guys, so now I am in need of the car. So this uh, G37 Coupe. So you see the exhaust, passenger sides is this place. So I have to remove this uh, piece of metal here. Let me turn the head from the light. I have to remove this piece of metal. So pretty much this screw on the top, number 10 millimeters, and number 10 millimeters on the sides. And you have to remove this cover to fix the, the problem for the, the viper. The code was uh, P0447. So, guys, we'll have to open this. Stay with me, guys. We'll have to open it. We'll show you what's going on. So, guys, so open the first ball. The second ball is still one there, but it's difficult to reach that one. So, what's happening here? This is what I'm looking for. This is the piece. This is right there. So, I don't have to open the, uh, the back screw, but I can remove it from here and take it off put a new one this is the sensor yeah so let's take it off and see what, what's happening Okay. Let's go drive, let's go drive. Send the right here on the curve. Let's go, let's go, stop, stop, stop. Let me do one thing. Okay guys, so how to do, I have to twist it, like that, and take it off. There is no room, so I have to keep fighting with it. Actually, guys, the diff so this one I have to remove it. So you have no choice to remove the this one for the exhaust, the brackets right there, to reach the bow right there. Like that, we can remove this, and we have to remove the canister out there to can twist the 
to can twist the 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 vapor because I have to twist it like that to to take it off. So let's take it off and see. So guys, so for remove this one now, you have a bolt this one here. You have to remove this one with number ten, and make sure you use the number ten like this one here. To open that one, that's open and see. So guys, after removing that one, is the another one here on the back sides. He's right here. Using number ten. Same thing. Okay, guys. So now we remove it. See, open the screw that that one. Now, what I do? Twist this one here. Then remove it. Stay with me guys until I remove it. There you go guys. So remove it. I would like to get the same one, but I can't find one in the market. I have to get it from the dealer. So I just get one from AutoZone. It's not the same, but you gotta do the job. Yep. Okay guys, so we did replace it. We put it in place like that. We're gonna chop in, uh, we're gonna put just just like that now, put all the horses. We don't put the, the claim back until we test it because it's not all EM parts. I know Infinity always have to use all EM parts, so let's try and see what's going on from there. So guys now I'm at the dealership. Just come and pick up the parts. Because actually the, the this car requires uh, dealer parts because you cannot use aftermarkets. So we're gonna pick the same one like this one. Stay with me, guys. So, guys, always pick up the right part from the dealer. Doesn't cost too much. Okay, if you have a business, it costs like 50 bucks. But for that business, maybe more. So we'll go outside now. We're gonna pick up the parts. So, guys, now we're outside the dealership. So we're gonna pick up the parts. Always never get a cheap parts. Always get the factory one, like the the car, the car run better. So watch here. Okay guys, so pick up the parts from the dealer. So we'll go from there, we'll put it on the car and see what's going on. Hopefully we can fix the problem. Yeah, so don't forget guys, like the video and share and subscribe to the channel. Like that we can show you more tricks. So guys, so I just installed the piece, the new one. So this is the aftermarket one for uh, AutoZone, but this doesn't work. So I don't know why, so I get the, the OEM one, how do you see, I drive like one hour just to pick up the part for the customer. So we got to erase the code and start the car and see what's going on. So guys, so yeah, the piece from the dealer that work, yeah, I always gets dealer parts. So I was, before when I put aftermarket parts, the light doesn't want to go. So when I put the, the dealer one, the, I always set the light, the lights go and the car ran better. So guys, stay with me, we gotta start everything back.
Okay guys, so after we're done, so the car ran better. No shake, no nothing, no engine light on. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna take it to test. Go ahead. Yeah, it was a tough day. Take me one hour to find, just to drive to pick up the parts. Here we go. How you can see guys, so really tough days. Just to open that one, it took me one hour to take it off, an hour to, to put it back. Because normally this one, you don't have to mess up. So I have to know what you're doing. So I go pick up the parts from the dealer with the traffic light, stuff like that, one hour take me. So guys, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to the channel to see more tricks. Have a good one.